U.S. believes there are many alternative routes for Ukrainian grain exports. The U.S. government is negotiating with Turkey, Ukraine and its neighboring countries to use more alternative routes for Ukrainian grain exports. The Wall Street Journal media outlet reported this with reference to U.S. officials. Most of the grain will be shipped down the river and across the Black Sea to nearby ports in Romania from where it will be transported to other countries. Despite the long and more expensive journey, this route could become an alternative to the Black Sea Corridor. The plan envisages an additional route for exporting 4 million tonnes of grain per month via the Danube River by October. In addition, the US plan partially builds on the European Union's initiative to create road, rail and sea routes known as Solidarity Corridors to ensure the unimpeded movement of grain and other goods to and from Ukraine. Indeed, it is thanks to the EU routes that the largest volume of grain transported was 4.2 million tonnes in November 2022. The Danube route accounts for the big part of these exports, approximately 60%. Moreover, European officials admit that Ukraine could export 5 to 5.5 million tonnes of grain per month. The publication pointed out that the Black Sea Grain Corridor at its peak allowed Ukraine to export about 6 million tonnes of grain per month from three ports in Odessa Oblast. At the same time, the US is considering all possible options, including military solutions to protect ships operating in Ukrainian ports, a WSJ source said. They declined to elaborate on the details of these options or name the countries that might be involved. It is noted that the parties began to consider these options after Russia withdrew from the agreement that guaranteed the security of food supplies through the Black Sea. The reality is, Russia has decided to attack the global food supply, a source in Washington said. At the same time, Turkey and the UN are simultaneously trying to convince Russia to return to the grain deal.